Okay, so this has been a really busy semester and we've covered a lot of ground. Um, so to give kind of an overview of what we actually did just cover, um, we'll go back to the syllabus um, where we had this list of course objectives where we were supposed to be able to learn about all of these things. Um, so at this point, you should be able to talk about causation. You should be able to create logic models. Um, you should be able to draw DAGs. Um, you should be able to think about causal inference and threats to causal inference, like threats to internal validity and external validity. Um, run statistical models. Um, share your analyses and your data with the public. Um, think about ethics. Um, I'm pretty sure we covered all of this stuff. We did it. Um, congratulations. Um, if you go back to this, um, this is the flow chart that we have on the, the homepage of the course website. This was what we were supposed to have done in this class. We started off talking about evaluation and causation. Um, we talked all about program theories and impact theories, and you did a whole bunch of flow chart um, diagramming um, to be able to find the connections between inputs and activities and outputs and outcomes, um, and you, you were good at that. Um, you also learned how to draw DAGs and how to think about potential outcomes and counterfactuals and kind of the, the philosophy of causation. At the same time, I threw you into the R or to the world of R and you learned how to program in R and how to write using Markdown, um, how to make graphs and how to run models, um, which has been pretty exciting, I think. Um, it's a very useful skill. You can continue to use this after you graduate um, because R is free. Um, you don't need to buy a license like you do for Stata or SPSS. And so any organization you go work for as an intern or as an employee, um, you can continue to use this R stuff, um, which is really exciting and cool. Um, I still have lots of former students from um, both BYU and GSU that email me regularly with stats questions they have and questions about how to do stuff in R. Um, feel free to do that in the future too. I'm here for you. Um, I'm here to help you with your analysis stuff. So keep learning this stuff and, and keep growing. Um, we then moved on to specific tools for finding causal inference. We learned about all of these cool econometrics tools like matching and inverse probability weighting and diff and diff, regression discontinuity, instrumental variables, which you all hated because um, it's a really obscure way of finding causal inference, but it's out there. Um, I exposed you to it because you will find it all the time in the real world, especially if you're working with social policy. Um, economists use instrumental variables all the time, so you have to know how to use them. Um, then we moved into the, the world of applied evaluation here, where we talked about good ways of doing evaluation. Um, to, to think about pre-registration plans and pre-analysis plans, how to communicate your findings with others, um, how to think about the ethical implications of your analyses and of your evaluations. Um, and then other forms of evaluations, how to think about process monitoring or cost benefit analysis, other things like that. So with all of that together, um, you are now fairly expert at impact evaluation using R um, and finding causal inference using R, which is really cool and exciting. Um, so the main takeaways of this class are a couple. Um, mostly, don't be afraid of causal language. If there's anything you remember from this class, it's the fact that like you've been scared away from the whole the whole world of causation in your past stats classes. You've always been told just say correlation, never say causation. Um, you can never say causation. Don't try. Um, moral of this class is you can do that. Um, if you use DAGs carefully, or if you use a careful research designs with design based models, um, you can make causal claims. And so that's why I had you read this fun article here about the C word. Um, don't be too afraid of using the C word or causation. Um, don't stick to just the world of association and um, correlation as long as it's warranted. Like, don't just start claiming everything is causal. Um, you still need to make sure that you're adjusting for things carefully. You're closing back doors and DAGs. You're doing inverse probability weighting or matching. Um, you're doing RCTs or diff and diff or regression discontinuity or instrumental variables. You're doing the specific tools that you've learned. But if you're using those tools correctly and you have a plausible causal story, don't be afraid of claiming causality. You can. That's the whole purpose of this class. So if there's anything, if a year from now you don't remember everything you learned, 
just remember that you can talk about causation using stats and you have the specific tools to do that now. Um, and that's kind of the main takeaway from this class is you can talk about causation now legally. You have your causation driver's license now. Congratulations.